Mm. Okay, it's working. See the chat. All right. This time the latency is way smaller. I just want to know if Hello. I don't, I just want to know if you are if you can hear me. Let me see here. Let's hope we don't we don't run into too many technical problems today. Which are you me? Ah, okay, great. Uh, let me see here, why is the chat? You can't? Oh, you can't? No echo? Great. <laughs> this time it's better then. All right. So, um, as I'm still trying to make live videos, if uh, there is anything you think that I could improve, don't be shy, you can just make critics, I would just accept everything because I'm still learning. And let me see here. Uh, I'm going to fold, let me show here. the. It's an origami pug from from who, what was the name again from yo yo tai yong the link is here pug pug uh, uh, the dog okay I don't know much of his origamis. Actually, I need to, to see more of these origamis because I still, I, I know only this origami. Yeah, the Western Dragon, I have the tutorial. It's, it's kind of old. I think I could make a better one. And I posted the Chris pattern. It, the crease pattern is also in the link I just put here in the chat. And I will also show the crease pattern here. And again, I, I've never folded this origami, I didn't have time. The good news is that I finished making the tutorial for this dragon here. It's the pocket dragon. So I just finished making the tutorial for these two origamis and today I will upload it uh, first for the channel members and last and uh, next week uh, the tutorial will be available for everyone and as you can see this origami is easy to make i mean it's not hard because you can make it with a printer paper and the name is now it's pocket pocket dragon <coughs> it's really fast i mean i make one with uh, um, i spend about 30 minutes to make one so it's quite easy and last week I showed the structure of this origami and this structure is, is also is a good structure uh, it's a structure for complex dragons uh, most complex dragons use this structure but I try to simplify this structure so 
let me unfold one again so I just try to simplify the structure to make it easier to, to fold with a printer paper and again it's the same thing right uh, you just have the the middle portion for the legs one two three four legs and the sides for the wings and the face and the tail and the result is going to be like this it's the pocket dragon <laughs> and the next tutorial I'm going to record is this origami lion from Rob Snyder I was practicing I still didn't um, there are some details that I'm trying to figure out because the tutorial had some parts that I'm not sure if I folded correctly but then I will record Konnichiwa Ah, boku wa nihongo amari wakaranai kara ano chotto chotto shiga chotto shika shaberarenai Pensei que fosse o Simple Dragon do Shukikato. Eu não vi, eu nunca vi esse origami. Falando em dragão, uh, que dragão que vocês acham, assim, qual que é o dragão preferido de vocês? No talking about dragons, which dragon is your favorite one? I want to know more about the origami dragons, because it's been four years that I've not folding, I, I didn't fold any origami, so I don't know much about the origamis right now. <coughs> But... Let me see, which, are, which dragon do you guys like? Eu já fiz o tutorial. <risos> então, então tem que saber, pô. Deixa eu lembrar. Shukikato, certo? Ah, sim. Claro. É verdade, ele lembra um pouco o Simple Dragon mesmo. Eu falo português, sou brasileiro. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the simple dragon. The structure is a little bit different. The wings, I think, um, the wings are very different. I'm not sure exactly why is it different. But the proportion is probably way different. I will see, I'll have to see this. <risos> Alzheimer tá como? Pô, faz quatro anos que eu não faço origami, né? And I also created this origami. I don't know if anyone knows what this is. I know it's weird, but anyone who knows this will understand. Yeah, I know it's weird. <laughs> I'm still creating. I'm not showing this too much because yeah, it's it's not a nice origami, but I will create it. So, you like the Zoanoid dragon? Let me remember which one is the Zoanoid dragon. Okay, Zoanoid Dragon. Oh, could you fold it? Could you fold it, that Zoanoid Dragon? It's, it looks really hard to fold. The scales, the scales looks really, really hard let me see if I can show everyone the zoonoid dragon <laughs> 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 
Hello. Hello from Colombia in Turkey. <coughs> Korea. Oh, there are people from everywhere today. Oh, you're not scared enough to fold it? Yeah, it looks really hard. I mean, I've never folded it, but the scales looks very difficult to fold. Let me show everyone. Open with paint. Okay. Cars? What's cars? Which, where is cars? Mars? Oh, okay. <laughs> Clayton Nascimento, desde 2006, cara, 2006, é, 2006 foi o ano que eu comecei o canal, né, caramba, New Zealand, so we have people from everywhere, Kamiya Satoshi, yes, of course I know Kamiya Satoshi, I even have, uh, here, his dragon, the ancient dragon, it is a little bit messed up now, but I have the ancient dragon here with me. Outro papel bom para origami? Tem, cara. Na verdade, o papel o mais importante não é o, o papel em si. O pre, você precisa saber também o preparo do papel. Então você precisa passar a CMC e usar talvez corante ou coisa do tipo só que não existe um papel próprio é, depende do origami que você vai fazer <coughs> And, ok, let me show the Zonoid Dragon um, I'm still getting used to using this OBS studio, so I have to think a little bit before doing anything. Uh, let me see here. Okay. So this is the Zoanoid Dragon. I've never folded it, but the scales look so, so hard to make. You're leaving already? Is there any other origami dragon you guys like? Uh, let, let me read everything. There's so many information, so much information here that it's hard to to read everything. My wife is not here with me today, so it's harder. I have to manage everything. How old is the ancient dragon? Uh, you mean the the creation or my origami? Yeah, the scales are the same, but The Ryujin, I, I think there is a difference here. I can see a difference here that in the Ryujin, the scales are separated from the model. I mean, you have a, uh, the scales in one side of the paper and then you have the, the rest of the model kind of uh, with a lot of uh, wasted paper in the middle of course, that's due to the shape. This one, it looks like the, the origami has the scales in the middle of the origami, so maybe it's harder to fold. Well, of course, the Eugene is not easy to fold either. <laughs> uh, 
Yuga Arisawa Dragon Arisawa Let me see this dragon Yuga Arisawa Dragon Yuga Arisawa Origami Dragon Arisawa Yuga Okay, I found it It looks like the ancient dragon Hmm, what is the difference from this and the ancient dragon? Maybe the body is... Oh yeah, there's a lot of difference in the body Well, there are a lot of differences in the body So it's more detailed Let me see here Open with Pinch Oh, there are so many details in this origami. It's crazy. Let, let me show everyone the same origami. New window capture. And here it is. I've never seen this organ before. Aged dragon. Oh, okay. Aged dragon. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention. Let me see here. But this one is, is crazy good. Aged dragon. K Watanabe. This one is, a, is also... Have you ever folded it? It looks way harder to fold Yeah, it looks even harder to fold Hey, I also, I also miss you guys <laughs> Arisawa Yuga I th Yeah, I think it was the name, right? Let's see here Arisawa Yuga, hi Arisawa Yuga no origami desu Now, I don't fold many hard origamis because I don't like to spend too much time folding the same origami but um, I think probably I don't know, the the Western Dragon or uh, let me see I don't have it right now uh, the origami I folded last week uh, the oh, it's here no it's not last week last month the okay this origami fairy it's probably the hardest one I've ever folded but I, I don't fold many hard origamis because you know I prefer to make origamis in, in a single day I don't like to spend like a week making the same origami so let me see here the aged dragon right I, I want to download this image and Oh, maybe I can show... Okay, yeah, I found out. Um... Okay, so here is the aged dragon. I mean, did anyone fold this origami? Let me 
did anyone else fold this origami? Because it looks really hard. I mean, I, I can't even start to think how to fold it, because I know you have the scales, but the shaping? I don't even know how to start the shaping. Probably, probably it's wet folded, but even then... Yeah, I don't know how to fold it. Scaled Ancient Dragon by Kazuka Zu Zuroiroi? Kazuka Kazuka Zuroiroi? I've never heard this name. Scaled Ancient Dragon. Yeah, yeah this the Aged Dragon. It's crazy, I've never seen that. <laughs> Ooh, Angel! Oh, Darkness Dragon Tree, I'm still working on it. I mean, um, I know I've, I already created it and <clears throat> Origami's by Boyce, I mean Boyce Wong, he folded the Darkness Dragon Tree already, but I want to shape it a little bit better before I make the tutorial. And well, uh, this week I was working on making the tutorial for this dragon, so I still couldn't work on it <laughs> and I don't know if anyone knows what this is <laughs> I won't know if anyone recognizes it I'm still I'm still working on it but it's an origami I, I just thought maybe someone would like to fold it although most people won't even understand what this is Uh, so you should make a series for Darkness Dragon like Ryujin by Satoshi Kamiya. Oh no, it's not a chicken. <coughs> so, um, I can make a series, but uh, the problem with origamis from Kam Satoshi Kamiya is that he doesn't... Yes, yes, you got it right. It's a plumbus. <laughs> so... Uh, the, pro the problem with the origami is from Kamiya Satoshi is that he doesn't uh, give authorizations for anyone to make this origami, his origamis. I mean, uh, it's not that he denies anyone, but um, he never answers emails about this, so I don't think I can. Well, anyway, let's start the first thing we I wanted to do in this live. Let me open the crease pattern for the... for the pug. Mm, let me see here. I, I think it's so slow to, to work with OBS Studio. Maybe there's a better program. But, well, this one is free, so... I can't complain. Okay, so... Here is the crease pattern I want to work on today. Right. Streamlab Ops is it expensive? <coughs> então, eu eu tô tentando fazer uma série, quer dizer, ao vivo, né, tentar dobrar o CP para ver se dá para passar um pouco a ideia de como que eu penso, porque não é tão fácil de, de explicar como dobrar. Tem que pensar de pouco em pouco, né? If you can complete the Darkness Dragon Tree, well, um 
I want to make the um, I, I want to make more origamis from Lord of the Rings and and Star Wars. I just need some ideas. The problem is that I I spend way too much time to make each origami because the tutorial for this origami it took three weeks to to finish. I finished it today. Oh, it's free. You mean the Streamlabs? Streamlabs OBS? I'll try it later. Well, I will run into another technical difficulties if I try to change the program right now, but I will try it. Let, let me see. But is it better? Have you tried to use it? Streamlab, Streamlabs OBS. Streamlabs OBS. Okay. Let's save it here. Uh, okay. Ah, tá. Você está tentando fazer o Ryujin? Tem... Existe canal do... Do Discord que, que tem um monte de gente ensinando a fazer o Ryujin. Depois eu vou ter que dar uma olhada. Bom, mas vamos lá. Ok, so let's... Let's start trying to fold this crease pattern. Again, I may fail because I've never tried to fold こんばんは、パックン。日本語あまり喋られないのでね。ちょっとしか喋られないから。<coughs> so I would talk mostly in English. Okay.、Uh, let me see here. So let's let's start with let's start for this crease pattern. And one more time, I may fail, okay? <laughs> it's my first time folding this. I didn't have enough time to, to try to fold it before. Yeah, yeah, in Japanese, it's okay. But in English, it's not okay. In English, it's not okay. The language is not okay. The language is not okay. The language is not okay. I'm trying to I'm try, trying to tell oh my I'm trying to talk in in Japanese but it messes up my head every time I talk in Japanese I start to mess I mess everything in my head and it gets hard to get back to English Yeah well Talashi falando em japonês é estranho? É porque o meu japonês não é nativo, né? Eu sei um pouco só. Well, I am using here a 15 by 15 centimeters paper. But I don't know the recommended paper. Probably it should be bigger. When it's the first time you are folding a crease pattern, it's better to use a big paper because you can understand better the details. But I am not recommending any size because I've never folded it yet. I am trying for my first time to fold this crease pattern and that's the problem. Again, I, I may fail. I may not be able to fold it because um, the biggest problem here with this origami is that the face has a lot of a lot of details that are not really precise. Oh, it's an origami pug. Let me put uh, the picture here. The link for the crease pattern is in the chat, okay? The top part of the chat, you can see the crease pattern link. But let me the picture oh I can't mm, yeah sure I can't I can't share two different parts of the display at the same time well anyway it's an origami pug I'll let, uh, yeah I, but I need the crease pattern here 
So let's try. Let's try to fold it. You can see my mouse here, right? Oh. Okay, so first, uh, the origami, we can see that the origami is divided here in equal parts, right, along the diagonal. Um, so let's do it. Let's just fold along the diagonal. One, two, three, four. You have four parts. Oh, you can add different seams. Uh, the problem, I, I don't know why I'm running into this problem, but when I try to add anything else, the previous the previous windows is closing. And I'm not sure why, but well, anyway. <laughs> yeah, tanashi desu ne. I I do origami since I mean it's it's more than 20 years making origami. <laughs> so I'm starting by making the reference, right? This I know we don't have the f the fold in the middle, but I will make the fold just to make it easier as it's my first time folding it. And I'm going to divide four parts you already folded darkness dragon I don't know if it was folded I didn't see if you post the photo on insta I can see <laughs> I have no job so I can watch our video. Well, I'm making the these live videos on Saturday to make it easier for everyone to watch it. É, é sabe como que é, né? Minha memória não é muito boa, cara. Acho que já deu para perceber. <laughs> é verdade. Não, eu lembro. Agora eu lembrei. Mas não liga muito não, tá? Que é, é, é muito comum isso comigo. Muita informação ao mesmo tempo. <risos> Mas vamos lá. So, I started by folding all these lines. And... <coughs> Let me see here. We... Let me just make this fold first just to see the reference well first of all we can we can already know what part of the crease pattern is going to be each part of the origami if you see the picture of the origami you can see the picture in the the link i put in the top part of my of the chat and here you can see that you have probably here is the hind leg and here it's the front leg because you know you see that the fold narrows here and here so here and here is the, are the legs so here is the face and the problem is that the tail part it doesn't have any detail so probably I will have to improvise Well, anyway, I'm going to make this reference fold, this fold just to, to make it easier. And you can see that uh, from the from the back leg and the front leg, you have this triangle, right? So here it's going to be the 
the leg, the front leg and the hind leg and you have this triangle so most probably at some point the origami will look like this we'll, see, we'll be in this position so I can make the this fold downward and this fold downwards to make the leg so it's probably going to be like this or something very similar to this <clears throat> okay so let's see I'm tr I need to fold this reference fold here right and it's well it doesn't matter actually let's make it like this and I will fold the next reference fold here going to the middle okay um, the next part uh, if you notice I always always start with the big big lines because the big lines are the most difficult uh, it, it's the base right it's the most important part so the most important part is always to find the, the bigger picture the shape of the model and then you go to the details so I started by making all the big par parallel lines now I'm going to fold this line here and this line here because it's going to shape the leg part this is the first big big fold there is and as you can see you have a mountain fold here and a valley fold here it means that you won't fold you won't make this fold uh, let me see here you won't make it like this because you see if you do this if you do this both folds are going to be in the same direction it's both mountain folds right so as these two folds are are not the same fold you're just going to probably yeah I mean definitely you're going to have both layers together and then fold it I don't know the direction yet but it's going to be something like this let me make the zigzag just to see if I can figure out okay so you have the zigzag and I mean the, the idea of these tutorials it's not exactly a tutorial but the idea is that if you want to improve your origami, you have to read crease patterns. Because if you read a crease pattern, you can fold, and you have way more origami, way more origamis you can fold because you don't need the step-by-step -step tutorial. You don't need to wait for a, a diagram or a video. You can just read the crease pattern. Even then, I'm not sure if I can fold this origami. It's not guaranteed, but it's good to, to improve your technique. Well, okay, so here I have a mountain fold and then a valley fold. So this organ, it folds to inside, it folds like this. Well, let me see here. The legs are probably going to do this. You have the, the body, and then the legs are going to come to this direction. Here and here. So I have to keep this in mind at the same time I make this fold. Well, let me see here. So, this is a mountain fold. Or is it a valley fold? I cannot see it very, very well. No, it's a valley fold. Okay, it's a valley fold, and then a mountain fold.
Oh, there are, there are a lot of people from India watching my videos. <laughs> Okay, so this, and then and here I have a fold like this, but to inside. You guys can also try to make this this origami look in the crease pattern. But okay. I can see that the fold's going to be like this. So you're going to make the leg go forward. I hope I don't I don't fail, <laughs> but this is not going to be easy. Anyway, I have this mountain fold, this valley fold, and then a mountain fold here. So it's like this. And then Belly fold. Hmm. Let me try this side here because it's going to be easier for you to, to see the folds. My bunny brain can't comprehend this level of complexity. <laughs> well, uh, you know, it took me a lot of time to fold my first origami from the crease pattern. You have to, you just have to, to see, see it a lot of times. And uh, what I, what I found, what I found really weird is that when I fold the crease pattern by myself without making the live video, I'm al almost always I can fold it. But when I am recording, it takes so much longer. I just can't think. I mean, I think my, I get nervous and then I start to, to find it way more difficult than it should be. <laughs> okay, again, this is a valley fold. And then you have here a mountain fold. A mountain fold here and a valley fold here. So a valley fold here and a mountain fold here. Hello, Japan. It's very late now there. But today I have a lot of people from Japan. Well, and I always have a lot of people from India. I mean, I think people from India watch a lot of origami videos, I guess, because uh, my main, the, the, the main viewers from my channel are from the US and then the second is from India. So it's like this, right? And then... From this point... Okay, it's going to go to the middle. Origami is famous in India? Really? 
me see here. You have a valley fold here, but you don't go all the way. Oh, okay. So you have to fold here, and then the valley fold goes to this direction, right? So probably fold like this, and then you open. Hmm. Maybe it's not a good idea to do it live. I mean, I just have so much trouble. Well, anyway, let, let me just uh, focus a little bit more. Let me focus here. Because obviously, if you have a valley fold here, this paper is going to come to this way here, right? And then... Let me see. We'll do this. This fold here is this one. I know that it's like this because no, actually, it's in the opposite direction. It's like this. Okay. Let me just check first. If I do this, I have the main structure all folded. Okay. And then I just fold it downwards and you have the structure of the leg but I'm not sure if this is the correct way I mean I just tried to think <laughs> how to do it myself so the legs and the tail but in, it's in the opposite direction, so... Okay, so what I did here was this. Uh, why, why, I got in, why I got to this, for this shape here? First, I, I was thinking that maybe... Well, I know that this part and this part are the legs, so I have this triangle here, right? I know that I would have this triangle. The thing is, I also knew that I had a valley fold here, right? So, if I make this fold and try to pull the legs to the sides, I have this structure. And it's most probably probably something really close to this. The origami is going to be something really close to this because there's no other way you can distribute the paper. <clears throat> but I know there's a better way to find this because I just have to fold it slowly. And this fold here is in the opposite direction, so it's not like this. It's probably like this or so. So let me see again. But for the next week, for the next week, I'm going to, to study the crease pattern before. So it's easier for me and for everyone to watch it. So probably it's going to be like this, right? The problem is that here on the tail, I don't have any, any, informa <coughs> any information on how to fold it. Because this part here, it's already done. 
it's, it's this, but it doesn't look like a bug tail. Um, the leg, let me finish folding here. I'm going to narrow the leg a little bit. As this fold you also... You have this fold at this part here. I mean, you have this this fold here because I know that you have to narrow the legs. I don't know exactly which direction I have to fold, but I know that I have to narrow the legs. So I'm going to do the same thing here to the other side. Right? And if I don't have information on how to make the tail, I need to improvise. So let me see the picture again. Well, I just have to fold it upward. I'm going to do this. Right, so let me fold it like this. Mm. Let me narrow it a little bit more. The shaping will probably will be probably will be pretty bad cuz I still I still have to fold it carefully, you know, to see all the details. And then I fold it maybe like this. Yeah, it looks okay. <laughs> the shaping is not exactly right. I have to make a small curve here maybe. But I think that starting from next week, I'm going to make uh, the live video more like a tutorial. So I studied this, the crease pattern before. And you guys also try to fold the crease pattern. And then I show the crease pattern. Uh, I show how to fold the crease pattern. I think this is the best way for you to learn how to fold it because you, you think about how to do it before and then you see what you, you got wrong, right? Okay, now the front leg, it's probably the same thing. So, do this, do this. Uh, you just have to narrow. Yeah, it would be better, right? I'm going to do this. I think it's it's better because then you will have a tutorial every week. If I do like this, um, some people, I mean, most people won't be able to to follow. Because I am, I am also thinking how to fold it at the same time, and that gets gets messed up because even I don't know the the you know, the step by step. I'm trying to figure out, right? But anyway, here, now, now I'm going to see this part here. You have this triangle is, the, is this triangle here. And as you can see, you just have a small folds here in the middle. You have these small folds that are just to, to make the belly. And then you can also narrow the legs. But to do it, I probably will have to fold, fold it downwards like this, right? The same thing here. Let me narrow it a little bit before. So I narrow the legs. I fold it downwards.
and then I make this small fold in the belly and I fold the leg okay it's it's probably probably ooh, probably like this I won't do the same thing on the other side because it will take a lot of time and I think you got the idea right so I got the tail and the legs and it's going way better than I expected because I could fold it already at this to this point the problem is that the face is probably the most difficult part now let's see here the face starts at, at this point this remaining part here is the face and okay here we can see we have a valley fold and uh, and two folds uh, a mountain fold with a valley fold it means that these two layers are going to be together the same thing here and this fold here is going to shift the paper a little bit so you have this this part is going to be a, like a, a pyramid so um, let me see here it, the pyramid part is going to be exactly here at this point I know that it's going to be a pyramid because you have mountain folds all the way here and here so it can't be other thing okay so pyramids is simple let's have this but you cannot fold the next pyramid because you have a lot of paper here but it's going to be this right and then you have this fold here to shift the paper this and this fold to shift the paper I mean let let me unfold the, the, the other part just so I can show but what I mean is you have this and this fold okay so you have this and this fold in the middle that's this and this fold it's two valley folds and this fold here as I said before it's going to shift the paper see and then make a pyramid right and here on the next part you have um, mountain fold then a valley fold so it's correct here mountain fold and then a valley fold on the other side right I would say I would say this is the correct wait is, is that it yeah a mountain fold exactly then a valley fold and then here a valley fold so yeah that's right okay start to get starting to get shape now let's fold it fold this part again I'm not folding the leg again but I don't know if it's going to be like this or if it's going to be 
Oh, probably the layer is not trapped, but as you can see, you can fold it like this or trap this flap inside. But I think you gain nothing by, by trapping this layer inside, so it's probably outside. Okay, the origami must have a little bit of shape, otherwise it's not fun to see the result. Alright, now here it's probably going to be the ears, right? I'm not sure yet, but um, it's probably here because this point here is this one. And yeah, it looks like this is going to be the ear. We are almost there. As you can see, this part here, the middle, the middle is a mountain fold. So in this case, I have a valley fold. It means that at some time, at some moment, I'm going to reverse this fold, and then I have this fold on the front, just to make the the nose and it's not exactly in the middle so I guess I just have to make a fold I don't have any reference so I'm going to make a fold like this and it's weird it's just um, okay, the, the ears, there's a missing fold here, right? You have to make this small fold. So, probably I'm just going to... Let me see here. Okay, there's a fold that starts at this point. It's this point here. And it's definitely a fold to make the ear go backward. Huh, you even have a color change here. <laughs> mm, it would be it would have been easier if I used a pencil in the beginning. Yeah, um The next time, as I said, if I show all the steps slowly, uh, if I if I study the crease pattern before, I probably I will probably be able to show it with more steps, <coughs> and I can draw, and I'll, I can also draw the the crease pattern in the on the paper, so you can see where I'm folding. But anyway. The ear is probably like this, you just have to fold it forward, okay? And the head, if I look at the picture, it looks like the head is, is just something you fold like this. We're almost there. It's actually starting to look like a pug. Um, what else is wrong here? Let me see. Easy King Jidora. I, I will try to see this. 
I, I mean, you want me to create this origami? Is that it? Hey, hello, Indonesia. I have. I also have a lot of people from Indonesia and Thailand and Laos. I don't know why this this region. There are a lot, a lot of people from this region. Yeah, it's beginning to take shape. I just have to figure out now. This part here, it's it's there. Are a lot of folds there. So, let me see. I already made this fold. Pet birds, or it's no, it's the birds outside. I don't have pet birds, but I can see the birds here. There's a tree right next to my window, so it's those birds. Uh, let me see here. So that's weird. It's a food like this but not exactly like this because this food let me see it goes from this point it goes from this point up to this point here and it's a mountain fold. Oh, that's confusing. It's a mountain fold. Okay, so let, let me see this point also. We have one more fold here. This fold is missing. So it's probably So I can make a color change at this point. Okay, it's almost there. It seems like a relaxing setting to fold origami. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I, I like to fold origami also during the night because there's no sound. And there's a problem here. I live in Sao Paulo. So uh, during the day, there are a lot of helicopters. And at like 9 p.m., there are a lot of um, motorcycles. Uh, Motorcycles? Yes, I think that's the, the name. Because there are a lot of delivery happening during the night, so it's a little bit noisy. But then during the night, I mean, uh, when after 10 p.m. or 11 p.m., it gets, uh, I think it's the best moment to fold origamis. Uh, let me see here. Uh, where you can get the print versions of patterns? I just I just find every pattern on internet. I don't know exactly where you can find them. But this one I got from a Discord channel called Origami Dan. But well, I think you have to to search for the crease patterns. <coughs> Let I'm just, I'm still having trouble for this part because you see, there's a valley fold here. This is correct. And then you have two valley folds 
one here, one here. Oh, of course. Two valley folds and a mountain fold. So two valley folds and then a mountain fold. Ah, okay. Hmm. So a valley fold. A mountain fold and then another valley fold. Mountain fold. Okay, so again, belly fold, mountain fold, belly fold. Okay, you're almost there. Yeah, I should print the, the patterns. It's just that uh, this week I didn't have enough time to work on this part of the project because I was making the tutorial for the dragon. I, I mean, I just finished the tutorial today. So I will upload it. For first for, for the channel members and then next week it will be available for everyone <coughs> this dragon here and the shaping is going to be really hard here because I folded I, I made all the folds already and you can see it <laughs> at this moment it looks more like a pig than a pug but well at least I already made all the folds probably you just have to open it a little bit yeah this part here I will have to, to work on it later because probably I just have to reverse fold here do something something I don't know exactly what but it will take a little bit of time and the nose Is it like this? No, it's not a reverse fold. But well, the nose is this, and then you have to shape the face. This this origami is harder to shape than I expected. But in the end, but in the end, this is the origami. The shaping is, is a little bit messed up because I, I expect, expect uh, especially here in this point, I shouldn't have a, a color change, but I have to shape it a little bit uh, with more, more carefully so I can close this part, right, like this. And then I have to open, but this paper is getting way too small to to do these details so I would say like this maybe see it's getting all clumped up here in the middle but The structure is this. Also, there's this color change that shouldn't be here. So probably I mess it up a little bit here on the on this on this layer. But again, I will have to to study it a little bit slower.
because this it's just one fold that it's probably just one fold that's wrong here well <laughs> it doesn't look like a pug yet because you have to make curves You have a color. Uh, well, the other problem, the other problem is that the colors are not good, as you can see. The the paper should be black on one side to make it look like a pug. So you also have this. Also, let me see here. To look like a pug, you need this fold. So it, it's shorter. And the face should be a little bit thicker. So I probably messed up the proportions. Because there are folds without reference here on the crease pattern. Wait. Oh, okay. It's back. But yeah. I think I could get the idea of the crease pattern. Right. So let's uh, instead of making all the details of this origami, let's see if we can discuss uh, what origami we should do next week. So if we have, uh, do you guys have any idea of a crease pattern or something you guys want to learn? And this time for the next week, I'm going to to prepare the origami. I mean, learn how to fold it before. And then I will teach here on the on the live channel, and this way we can sh we can learn some random origami without having to edit all the video. Because when I make a video, uh, it takes way too long to make the the voiceover, the the lines on the tutorial to learn how to fold everything. But if it if I fold during the live video it's going to be way faster. I don't have to edit the video and I, and I can just learn. You know, I can just learn and show it slowly. <coughs> so if you guys have any idea of what origami I should fold next week, it's go I, I am going to try to, to fold. And well, Stormtrooper by K. Morisue. Let me see. Uh, I would take note of this origami because um, Stormtrooper by K. Morisue. Oh, it's just the mask. Is is it only the mask? Stormtrooper by Kei Morisue. And then, what else? Ryuji? No. <laughs> There's no way I can fold the Ryuji here. I mean, it takes one month to fold it. I cannot make in a live, in a live video of, I don't know, a couple hours. Uh, I did origami in wires. A toothless dragon. Oh, let me see it later. Uh, I have been watching you for eight years. Please shout out. Yes. Thank you, Skymill. Eight years, right? It's almost from the beginning of my channel. Oh, it's a red diagram? Oh, then it's way easier. Baby Scorpion. Uh, whose origami is that? Baby Scorpion? 
Let me see. Let me share. Let me share my screen. Okay. I think the easiest way is to share one corner of the screen so I can see everything at the same time. It's just box pleading. Let me see here. Let me just share the, the screen at the same time. Hmm. screen okay so like this I can share the corner of my screen Maybe there's a better way, but well, this will do. Okay, so this is the stormtrooper, right? At least that's what I got when I did search. Okay, so Stormtrooper by Kei Murisue. Let me see what else. Uh, Baby Scorpion by Ricardo Foschi. Ricardo Foschi has been making has been making a lot of great origami. I mean, uh, he started. I remember when he started. Fos. Baby Scorpion. Oh, that's that's easy. That's that's very easy. <laughs> yeah, I can do it. So, what do you guys think? Maybe this origami next week, and I will practice a little bit before so I can do it. So I started watching YouTube because of you. <laughs> that's on that's an honor. I mean YouTube's so great. And then to start just because of me. <laughs> I the completed model okay. You should create yourself in origami. No, it's not possible. I want to fold something something beautiful you know let me see yeah. what else fury dragon by kade chang oh i have the tutorial i have the full tutorial um on my channel baby scorpion <coughs> oh thank you twitter posts twitter posts thank you cuz yeah i try to, to find uh, good content. I mean, I like origami, so content I can create is, is mostly origami. I started watching YouTube because... Oh, okay, I, I already read that. Uh, okay, the Stormtrooper has a body. Let me see it, if I can find it then. You said Stormtrooper by Kei Morisue, right? Stormtrooper Kei Morisue. Okay, let me see. Hmm, I didn't find it. Do you have a link?
wild bull from Kadechang. Oh yeah, it has the crease pattern. Oh, this one is also very, very cool. Oh, this one is cool. It doesn't look that hard to fold. And it has the same structure. The same structure of the origami pug. You know, you have the tail here, the hind leg, front leg, and then the remaining part to make the face. The pug, if you see most, <coughs> most origami is, um, most origami animals have the same structure tail, hind leg, front leg, and then the remaining part to make the face. Oh, it's on the Discord. Frost Dragon by Kade Chan. Let me see. But the bull is a very good idea. Oh, the frost dragon is, is actually easy to fold. I can see the whole structure. I mean, again, tail, hind leg, front leg. The leg, the front leg is attached to the wings, right? Because this part here is the wing with the hind leg. Yeah, I already saw this crease pattern before. And then the wing is just uh, inside reverse fold. Here and here. And then you make two, two Tsuru bases. One here, one here, and then you make the face. Yeah, it's, it's easy. It doesn't look so difficult, right? This one is it looks quite easy to fold. So which one is better, the fro frost dragon or the the bull? The bull. Bull. Got it, Chan. The frost dragon, the bull. No, but it's it's really. It's really not that hard. I think it's easier than the the origami pug to to be honest. It has more more folds, but the folds are easier to, to do. <coughs> so the bull, the frost dragon, or the scorpion. Scorpion. Kardofoski. What do you guys think? Uh, next week I'm going to teach one of these. Oh, and about the storm stormtrooper, if you can find the link, uh, could you share the link with me so I can see what's going to uh, what the the origami look looks like. Okay. Do you think so? The frost dragon actually the frost dragon doesn't look that hard. The folds are easy. Uh, maybe there are a lot of folds so it may take a while to fold, but the folds are not that hard. I mean you have parallel folds and then a tsuru base with another tsuru base and then uh, uh, inside reverse fold uh, not inside reverse a uh, sink fold a sink fold here and here so the whole structure is quite easy to figure out the scorpion is also very easy it's box splitting so doesn't have anything anything that hard to do 
Uh, the bow is probably the most difficult one. Still, it's not that difficult because <coughs> I would just have to figure out beforehand how to make the face because there are a lot of the a lot of details here that it's not here on the crease pattern. Oh, he did. Boys, boys did the bow on stream. Ah, eu tô nativa assim agora, ô João. Tô nativa assim, voltando a fazer origami, voltando a fazer os live streaming também. E vamos ver, né? Tentar voltar a ativar o canal aí. So, if boys did the bull on stream, maybe I should do something else. I will try to see... I will try to find out how to fold this origami, but well, if he did on stream, it's going to be easier to fold, right? I can also watch his stream. But the problem is that if I watch his his stream and do the same thing, it kind of loses the purpose of these streams, doesn't it? Uh, that should be to learn something new. A panda? Uh, who's panda? Golden Retriever. Ah, okay, I didn't read this comment. Golden Retriever by Satoshi Kamiya. Oh, he did the shaping. Okay, so if he did only the shaping, I can, I can show the tutorial for, for the. Okay, let wait. I'm I'm mixing the comments here. Oh, okay, the shaping for the frost dragon. Yeah. Maybe the shaping is is hard, but well, the the shaping is more like you just fold the way you think it's going to look good. So <coughs> so if I fold the structure, <coughs> the shaping is mostly um, something you do, you know, the way you think it's better. Panda from Kanokoya. Kanokoya origami. Let me see here. Kanokoya origami panda. Wait. Jackie Chan? No, it's not this one. Let me see here. Mr. Bram. Kanokoya Origami, right? Um, I'm trying to see if I can find. Oh, he has several great origamis. Are those all, all his designs? Ah, okay, so it's this one, right? Tortoise? I've never folded a tortoise, to be honest. I, I'll try to see. But does he has any tutorial or yeah I mean there must be a tutorial someone already folded it right make two complex origams in two hours or less well what to call a complex origami <laughs> I cannot fold a I don't know an ancient dragon 
two ancient dragons in two hours. Ah, okay, I found the crease pattern. So. Okay, this one looks way harder. <laughs> so he doesn't have... He doesn't have a tutorial for this origami, right? Just the crease pattern. But really, this one looks way harder. Way, way harder than the pug. Well, I can see some things here. I'm still not sure of what this part is. I will have to fold it. Hmm. Flamingo or a horse? Do you have any model in mind? But, well, you may fold live on stream to, to complex origamis. E aí, Alan, beleza? <clears throat> okay. I'm, I will consider making this origami, but uh, I think it's going to be hard to teach on on the live stream because this origami looks quite complex okay I can see that there's a tip here probably folding backward I think that this tip just is just hidden here somewhere Yeah, I, I don't know. It looks hard because by looking the crease pattern I just can't identify all the all the parts of the origami. But I think that maybe this tip will be hidden with this tip just above the tail. Or, or no, not above, just below the tail. Okay, well, during the during this week, I will try to fold the model so I can make the um, the tutorial next week. I mean, so I can fold with everyone. And what else? Let me see. Hello, Shinikun. I will link the model. I, I'm not finding the link. I, someone said that he sent the link for the for the stormtrooper but I I can't see the link well anyway the CP for the stormtrooper is on the discord I will, I will try to, to find it later I'm going to make this uh, full together every week on Saturday I'm just trying to improve the live video so it's more, you know, so everyone can fold, can actually fold the origami because 
today, uh, I mean, the, the way I'm doing right now, by trying to solve the crease pattern live, it's not good for teaching because um, sometimes it gets it gets too hard to to follow the way I'm thinking, and sometimes my my head is messed up because I don't know exactly how to fold the crease pattern, and it makes it uh, harder. Yes, um, it's going to be at 10 p.m. here in Brazil, so it's. 13 at GMT and 8 o'clock EST I don't know I don't know where you live so <laughs> I don't know exact, exactly what time it's going to be but it's the same time oh I forgot to remove this link okay Okay, so today I'm going to finish here because I still have to improve the, the origami tutorial for the dragon and upload it today, right? But, but I got... Oh, you're in India, so yeah, okay. It's going to be about if it's 8 o'clock now so it's going to be about 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. <coughs> and I'm going to finish the, the live video today and I'm going to improve every week so we can do something better right so starting next week I will try to fold, I try to prepare uh, an origami to fold and we can fold uh, and I can teach the origami while you guys watch it instead of just trying to solve the origami so this week is going to be a little bit shorter because oh come on did the video ah okay the video is, is still here this week is going to be a little bit shorter uh, Okay, oh, the video is back, okay. <laughs> and that's it. So, thanks a lot to everyone who stayed to the end. The chat just disappeared here, so I cannot even see if you guys are replying to me. And I still run into small technical problems, but I hope that next week it's going to be better. So thanks everyone for watching this video and see you see you next week. Okay, what did you study at college? Yeah, okay. Um, I studied math, so and uh, I am a mathematician, but I've never worked as a mathematician. I've worked uh, a little bit as a programmer, a little bit as a, as a, how to say it? It's not exactly engineer, because I'm not an engineer, but I use it to make some structural, uh, how to say it, structural calculations for still Oh, come on, it's so hard to say technical things in English, <laughs> but it's calculations of steel structures <coughs> and also HVAC. So I did study math, so but I didn't really work as a math. One super easy box bladed model. Mathem mathematician <laughs> mathematician I know my English my English did improve a lot in the last 10 years but still it's not perfect because I don't speak 
English every day. I mean, for the last four years, I didn't speak English, English at all. So it got really rusty. Origami cam camel spider. Okay, whose origami is that? Origami camel spider. Probably not from Robert Lang, right? Because this one is not super easy. Um, whose origami is that? Maybe this one? One box pleated model. So do you have the link for the origami? Folder, folder, son. Brian, Ch okay, let me see. Origami camel spider, Brian Chen. Uh, this is not for from. Is this one from Brian Chen? I don't know. The name is not here. I don't know th whose origami is that. Can we spider Brian Chen? Okay, it's also not this one, right? Well, next week I'm going to see it. So, if you can find the link, you can send to me. Camel spider origami Dragonfly Opus Opus three six nine by Robert Lang Oi, Katia. <risos> Tudo bem? Eu já tô finalizando aqui o meu minha live. Robert Lang. Ah, ok, I found it. it it's this one. Is there a crease pattern for this? No, no, there's no crease pattern. Well, anyway, I got the ideas. I will see later which one is better to teach, but it's between the fo the Frost Dragon, the Scorpion by Ricardo Foski, Frost Dragon by Kadechan, and the Bull by Kadechan. I will see which one is going to be better and maybe open a a voting voting session on the on my channel and then you guys can you guys can choose and that's it thanks everyone for watching my live stream and I'm going to finish here so see you guys next week thank you bye bye Just gotta learn how to stop the <laughs> the streaming. Okay, I found it here.